I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will discuss an equation which has absolute function in it and we will also find limit of this function. Let me first thank my viewers for posting such good questions. This is from one of my subscribers. The question here is f of x equals to x square minus 4 divided by absolute value of x plus 2. Find the limit when x approaches minus 2 of the given function. So in short, I've just given you the function and the limit part. Let us see. Let us first explore the function itself. And then in the second part, we'll find the limit of this function. Whenever you have a function with absolute function, you know, absolute functions could always be written as a piecewise function. So this is very important to understand. So it is x plus 2. If I have a value which is minus 2, it is going to be 0. But if I have a value which is greater than minus 2, that is to say minus 1, 0, something like this, it is going to be positive. So for all values, x plus 2 absolute value will be x plus 2 if I have x value greater than or equal to minus 2. However, if I have a value less than minus 2, let's say minus 3, this value will be negative. But absolute value is always positive. So what we do is we make negative of negative. So we write like this, right? This is when x is less than minus 2. So that is how you define your absolute function. Once we have defined the absolute function as a piecewise function, then the function itself could be written as a piecewise function. Rather, should be, right? So we'll write down this function f of x as equal to the numerator part will be x square minus 4 as given here and the denominator will be x plus 2 if x is greater than or equal to minus 2. So let me write down x plus 2 if x is greater than or equal to. Now, it's remember denominator cannot be 0. So we know x is not equal to minus 2. So, so we we'll, should not write equal to. So it will be greater than minus 2. Is it okay? As far as the other piece is concerned, that is, when x is less than minus 2, in that case, this value is negative. So I should write like this, x squared minus 4 over negative of x plus 2. Do you see that? So we can now write the function without absolute value, but as a piecewise function, as shown here. Now let's simplify this. x squared minus 4 is difference of squares, could be written as x plus 2 times x minus 2. So we have x plus 2 here. And the other piece, this is when x is greater than minus 2, is again x plus 2 times x minus 2 divided by negative value of x plus 2 when x is less than minus 2, right? Now we could cancel the terms x plus 2 and x plus 2 in both the cases, simplify and rewrite the function as x minus 2 when x is greater than minus 2 and minus of x minus 2 when x is less than minus 2. I hope this part is very clear to you, right? So that is how we could write our function which has absolute value as a combination of two pieces and this is piecewise function. Do you see that? So we have a piecewise function here. Let us try to sketch this one here. Okay, so let me use this space to sketch the function. Uh, okay, so let me use the space here. Okay. Yeah, I'm taking a lot of space for the first part. We'll see the limit also soon. So we have uh, minus 2. Let me say this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, let's say, right? So this is minus 2 for us. 1, 2, this is 2, 3, 4, okay, 5 and 1, 6. Now here we have 1, 2, minus 2, 3, 4, minus 4, 5, 6, okay. So here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, let us say 6, okay. So we have our scale here. Now let's sketch this function, which is f of x equals to x minus 2 when x is on the right side of minus 2. So at minus 2, it is going to be minus 4. 
So at minus 2, it is going to be minus 4. Uh, it should be a whole. It is not equal to, right? At x equals to 0, it is going to be minus 2. And at x equals to 2, it is going to be 0. So basically this line, right? So we could join this line. And that becomes an open circle. Do you see that? So at minus 2, minus 4, we have open circle. And kind of extends like this. So this is the top part. The other part of this could be sketched as, let me use a different ink, minus of this, right? So if I write minus 2, minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4, and minus of that is plus 4. So what we get here is kind of here, right? Plus 4. And then if I write minus 3, so we get plus 5. So we get plus 5, kind of like this, right? So the function on the other side moves in this direction. Is that correct? So that is how the function is. And this is a function f of x, which is equal to two pieces, x minus 2 for x greater than minus 2, and minus of x minus 2 for x less than minus 2. Is that clear? So that is the function. Now, let us address to this limit question. So we need to find limit for f of x at x equals to minus 2. So whenever you are finding limit of a function at a point, it's a good idea to check the limit from left side and check the limit of the function from the left right side. So x approaches minus 2 from the right side. Now we have a sketch here. Let us do it from the graph itself. So if I'm trying to find the limit from the left side, so that is you're approaching from this side, the value of minus two, you will land here. And so the answer will be four, right? So this value is four for you. However, if you approach from the right side, right? So you come along this path, then at minus two, you're approaching the value negative four. You can clearly see here, that the limit of the function f of x as you approach x from negative to left side is not equal to limit of the function f of x as x approaches minus 2 from the positive side and therefore and therefore we say that the limit of the function as x approaches minus 2 function f of x does not exist right so limit does not exist as you can clearly see in this diagram, we have a jump discontinuity, right? So this kind of a discontinuity also called jump discontinuity. Anyway, so that was an additional information about uh, the function. Now, you could also find these limits from the equation. If you are saying limit, let's do this, of this part, which is approaching from the negative side, that means x is less than 2, we substitute minus 2 here. So when you substitute minus 2 here, you get plus 4. Do you see that? Perfect. And if you do the same thing for this half, which is approaching from the right side, that means this side, right? So if I substitute minus 2 here, I get minus 4. So you could do algebraically, you could read it from the graph as we did. But before doing all this, you have to simplify and understand your expression. I hope that is clear. I'm Anil Kumar. I'm trying to make things simple for you. And I hope it helps. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Feel free to write your comments. And if you like, you can put a like. Thank you. And all the best.